Hello students, welcome to the course Verilog HDL. In the previous video, we started with unit four topics and we have discussed the various components of a Verilog module. Okay, and there are some are mandatory and some are optional, right? So now with this uh, uh, ba basic, so in the this video as well as in the coming videos as well as the new units, we'll be learning each of these components in detail. Okay. So maybe you have learned about their ports, right? List of ports, port declaration, declaration of variables already gone through. Okay. So then uh, calling instantiation of lower level modules, we'll be learning as gate level description. Then data flow statement, we'll be learning as data flow description. Okay. And then behavioral statements initial and always we are learning in behavioral description and tasks and functions we are learning in another unit so like that so that uh, our main aim is to understand each of these components of a Verilog module so that any digital design is given so you are able to write the Verilog module with all the keywords and whatever is necessary okay so that is the thing so that is the basic okay so in this video we will be looking at the ports okay so what is meant by port what are the list of ports and the declaration and there are and different syntaxes one is IEEE and another is ANSI so both will look in this video okay ports provide the interface by which a module can communicate with its environment so this is the thing communicate with the environment okay for example the input output pins of an IC chip are its ports okay so in the digital design lab you will be seeing many IC chips right so depending on the manufacturer so depends so you have many output in out pins right and you are known only about this input so one and two may be connected input three will be connected to output so as you change the uh, input so you are seeing the change in the led output right so some input so but what is happening inside then you don't know right so just you are communicating with this element so ports are same way Okay, in Verilog programming, so these ports will give you the pin details, but whatever internal is there, that is the part of the program you will be looking in later. Okay, the environment can interact with the module only through its ports. Okay, so whatever this hardware part is there, we are now doing a simulation, right? So we are writing a Verilog code for that. So all that. Okay, so these pins will represent as a ports in the module. Okay. The internals of the module are not visible to the environment. Okay, what is there inside that you will not. So same way in this chip, what is there inside that? It is not visible. Okay, the same way we are writing in a programming. So what we are writing inside with that ports, nobody can see. So this provides a very powerful flexibility to the design. So this is flexibility in the sense. So if you write the modules and ports, so inside that any type of program you can write, switch level you can write, gate level you can write, data flow, okay? So there you can make any changes. This is called as flexibility in the programming, okay? The internals of the module can be changed without affecting the environment as long as interface is not modified, okay? So whatever affecting the environment, it will come and affect, right? So if you change the interface only, then you can see some changes. Ports are also referred to as terminals, okay? So these ports, what we refer in Verilog program, so it is referred to as also terminals, okay? So this is about ports. So then you have seen the list of ports, okay? If any digital design is given, so we will list the ports, right? A module definition contains an optional list of ports, okay? So, and also we mentioned that it is an optional, okay? Because in the stimulus block, there is no compulsion of ports, right? So only in the design block, you will see this list of ports. That is nothing but the inputs and outputs, right? If the module does not exchange any signals with the environment, there are no ports in the list, okay? So, so here we will take an example of a 4-bit full ladder that is instantiated inside a top level module top, okay? So the module name is top. Inside that, you have called this program so now we are writing both type of program. Okay, so we are writing the design block here for full ladder and then we are writing a stimulus block for top so that to differentiate uh, how list of ports is optional. Okay, so look at the diagram full ladder, you know, everyone full ladder, right? So adding bits. Okay, so you have two inputs A and B 
and C in will be the carry over from the previous addition. Okay. For example, if you have one one zero zero and zero one zero one like that, some numbers are there. Okay. So first case there is no carry right in all the additions first. So that is C in is zero in the first addition. Next addition. So there is any carry is there so that we will look into. So that will be saved in C in right. So that's why this is a full ladder. Okay. And to finally to store the answer, so you will have the sum, and then the last carry whatever you will be produce, so it will be there in the C out. So we'll look more into this design aspects in the programming part. So just to understand now the list of ports, we'll take this example. Okay. Notice that in the above figure, the module top is a top level module. Okay, so if you see the previous diagram, so top is written over it. So this is the main inside that we call full ladder. Okay, in full ladder, these are terminals. The module full ladder four is instantiated below top. The module full ladder four takes input on ports A, B, C in and produces an output on ports sum and C out. Okay, so full ladder four is the identifier here for the full ladder. Thus, module full ladder four performs an addition for its Environment. So environment is here A, B, C in, okay, and sum and C out are the output environment. Okay, so just doing the addition operation. That's why it is adder. The module top is a top level module in the simulation and does not need to pass signals to or receive signals from the environment. If you look at the diagram, their top is not exchanging anything with the environment, so that's why it does not have any list of ports. Okay, so whatever I explained this, we will write it as a Uh, program short program just uh, showing the declaration of this list of ports okay so this is the one the module names and port list for both module declaration in verilog are as in example below okay so first case for module full ladder so this is the design block okay instantiated block full ladder four so anything you can write in any order okay so sum c out a b c in okay all the input outputs are done okay this is about just list of ports okay declaration we'll see next So here you have list of ports. So whereas module top it does not exchange anything with environment, so that's why it does not have any list of ports. Module, module name. Okay. So this is the different. That's why list of ports is optional one in Verilog module. Okay. Now the second part is declaration of this whatever listed out ports. Okay. So if you have the ports, we will declare it input or output. Okay. So that keywords we will see now. Port declaration. All ports in the list of ports must be declared in the module. Ports can be declared as follows. Each port in the port list is defined as input. Okay, so this is the keyword. Okay, in small letters, input, then output, and in out. So so far you have seen in examples only you have seen majority times input and output. Okay, so only in few cases we will be using in out where it is a based on the direction of the port signal here okay so some block diagram you will be having like this symbol right so in full ladder four only you had either input as like this and output is like this that means what it is single direction but some cases in digital design you will have bidirectional bus and all so to show that we will be using most of the time in out okay so these are the three keywords are there okay with respect to ports so input okay output and in out so most of the time you are using these two this will be in some particular cases okay where we are using bidirectional port okay so input for input port output for output port okay it is very simple okay straight away so no difficulty in keywords also clear so we'll see the example for now full ladder for for declaring the ports okay you have seen list of ports this first statement you have seen so now we'll see the declaration how we do okay so this may be four bit full ladder that's why it is declared as a vector here okay so actually here space is required okay so space is required so some print mistake so give a space output space 3 to 0 sum so this is the keyword here that means here sum is a output indication sum is a output and this sum is of four bits okay uh, then output c out any order you can write input first output first no order okay so declaration part all the declaration should come so in this these two are outputs that's why output keyword is used here next similarly four bit inputs right input a b so both a and b are inputs and they are also four bit you have to do four bit addition now 
that's why 3 is to 0 it is also vector okay and input scene so this is a single bit right scene just will hold the carry of the uh, previous addition okay so this is the declaration part how we use input and output we have already done this in program but here we are focusing on the declaration part clear with this okay so then comes the module internals everything but before that we will do the declaration first comes the module module name list of ports and then comes the list of uh, port declarations okay so after that comes the variable declarations like wire and all okay so here one catch is there here uh, output input ports are declared along with that you can use the data types also like nets registers okay integer and all okay like input integer a comma b like that you can use okay but if you does not use anything by default so th these variables some co tbcn are nets okay that means they are equivalent to declaring it as wire okay so that is one understanding okay so if you have to make other than wire so you have to explicitly write there input registers in input integer in like that you have to write otherwise by default it is like a input wire scene okay wire so since by default it is wire again we are not writing the wire keyword okay so just observation we will see what we have learned note that all port declarations are implicitly declared as wire in Verilog. that's what i mentioned okay so they are wire implicitly okay Thus, if a port is intended to be a wire, it is sufficient to declare it as output, input, or in-out. Okay. Input or in-out ports are normally declared as wires. Okay. So, um, because the same thing we will be referring in the uh, stimulus block or a test bench, right? So, in that case, okay. So, input and in-out ports are normally declared as wires. However, if output ports hold their value, they must be declared as register. So this we will see in the behavioral description. Okay. So this is the uh, catch we will be referring in uh, behavioral description. So behavioral description, if you does not mention output, uh, whatever you have declared there. Okay. Normally flip flops, counters. Okay. So Q is the output there, right? So that Q will hold value. Okay. So that's why their output, whatever you declare, you should declare it as register. Otherwise, you will not get the proper output. Okay. So that is what uh, mentioning here in this point. For example, in the definition of deep lift flop, we wanted the output Q to retain its value until the next clock edge. The port declaration for deep lift flop will. So we are showing that with an example here. Okay, this will be used in behavioral description, data flow gate level, uh, not required. Okay. So port declarations for deep lift flop, another example for, for port declaration here, just to show you, okay, explicit declaration. So module, module name, list of ports, Q, D, clock and reset. So here output is Q, okay. And uh, D, clock, reset are input, okay. So along with output Q, we have declared as it is register Q, okay. You can write it in single line also, output space, register space, Q also, it is same, okay. So output Q holds here value, therefore it is declared as register, okay. So ports of the type input and in-out cannot be declared as register. You could not do that, okay. So it is a grammar uh, syntax error because register variables store values and input ports should not store values but simply reflect the changes in the external signals they are connected to okay so they are just holding okay so in the diagram i told you last time right so and gate two inputs are connected here a b okay so a b are connected so they are just take values from external environment and give it to the gate okay so whereas output of the gate may be c here but the computation of the value should hold for a some time here before it drived by the wire c so that's why output can be declared as register here okay so this may not holds good for uh, combinational circuits whereas sequential circuits like d flip flop counters and all uh, this is necessary that's why uh, that is the point okay so now this is the declaration of type, whatever you have seen both cases, it is a IEEE 1364 standard, okay. So now similarly another body is there, IEEE means Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers, similarly another body is there in US, that is ANSI, okay, American National Standard Institute, it will follow a separate uh, protocol, okay. So how it is going to write the same list of ports, okay, that we will see, okay. 
Note that the module full add four in example above can be declared using an ansys C style. Okay, so this can be okay, can be declared. Okay, so must and should know. You can by default we are using I triple A only just to show you how it differentiates. We are showing here ansys C style syntax to specify the ports of that module. Okay, so what is the drawback they have seen and what they have tried to overcome? That's we will try to uh, mention here. Each declared port provides the complete information about the port in this case okay and so i see example below shows this alternate syntax this syntax avoids the duplication of naming the ports this is the drawback in ieee okay duplication of naming the ports in both the module definition statement as well as in the port list definitions just to show you if a port is declared but no data type is specified then under specific circumstances the signal will default to a wire data type okay so what they are saying this drawback here is so in the case of triple e so we are writing here q d clock reset this is the list of ports again when declaring ports again we are using this keyword q again i am writing here d i am writing here clock so that is a duplication of name here q d clock instead i can write inside the list of port itself what is q output q input d clock reset here only i can write that is possible only in ansi c style okay if you write the same thing in i triple it will give syntax error okay that's what this is the thing so ansi c style port declaration syntax so module module name we are writing in the list of port itself okay whatever we you have to write we will write it here instead okay output will be so i am taken same full ladder example Okay, and outputs are declared as register. Output register four bit, three to zero sum, and we'll use a comma operator. Okay, so comma operator as earlier, comma output register zero. So this is here PPT. I will be taken next line, but normally in editor you will have a lengthy. Okay, so it will come in single line. Okay, so output register underscore C underscore out output. Then input are declared not as register. Okay, by default they are wire. Three to zero A B C. Okay, then we'll close the bracket. So this bracket we used to write for list of ports, just sum C out C in A B. Now we have put the list of ports as well as declaration in one first line. Okay, so because of that here duplication of name is avoided. So no need to write again here outside. So this is the difference between I triple A and N C C. Okay, so no need to bother about this style. Okay, this is only supported by which are where. Verilog compiler or Verilog simulator supports ANSI style. There it will be. Okay, so you should know. That's why I have mentioning this. So otherwise we will refer that only. Okay, I triple. So with this uh, we are uh, completing the discussion on ports, list of ports, and port how we declare it in two different syntaxes. Okay. So in the next video we will see the rules of connecting ports. Okay, and what are the types we have? We will discuss. Okay. So if you like the video uh, click the like button okay thank you see you in the next video